Hey guys, and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So once again, we've got five amazing free assets completely free for us to use. So what we've got this month is the Flexible Combat System Basic, City Environment Mega Pack Volume 2, Dynamic Volumetric Sky, Scanlabs Interior Volume 1, and the Countryside Windmills and Barns. So again, these look absolutely amazing, and let's get right into it, starting with the Flexible Combat System Basic. So you may remember a couple of weeks ago I actually did a full video showcasing the more advanced version of this and this is just a more simpler and therefore cheaper version but obviously it's free for this month. So if you didn't want a full video go check that out in the description down below and on screen now. But the Flexible Combat System Basic is a system which allows different combat styles for your character and AI along with other features such as assassinations and kill cams and it is implemented entirely in blueprints. So the basic version of this is a standalone asset and cannot be combined with the other flexible combat system assets. So you just got to keep that in mind if you did want to then later on upgrade to the other ones. So this is made and designed specifically to be easy to add into an existing project, easy to understand because it's one of blueprints and commented very nicely, it's easy to edit or remove current features, and it's also easy to add in new features on top of the existing ones as well. So you can add it in and customize it incredibly easily. So some of the features of this are a fully flexible combat system where player and AI combat styles can be added and changed, a pick up and draw seed weapons, many different weapon styles, different combo attacks and damage multipliers, pop up combat techs, targeting system, line trace hit detection, leveling up system, save and load and so many other things as well. So there's 89 total animations in this, 33 of those being locomotion, 8 blend spaces and 50 combat animations. So those include assassinations, combo attacks and much more. So a breakdown of some of the different blueprints are there's 16 actor components, 3 blueprint interfaces, 10 widget blueprints, 3 animation blueprints, 26 behaviour trees and 8 weapon blueprints. The input of this is only keyboard and mouse, it's not network replicated, however he does hope to implement that in a future update and there's also many tutorials he's created for you to be able to use this nice and efficiently as well. So I think this one looks absolutely great once again, and again, he's got several different versions of this, if you did want to then look at the different ones as well, but obviously this one is free for this month. So let's go on to the next one, and that is the City Environment Mega Pack Volume 2. So this is a special offer where you can get three packs for the price of two, or for this month obviously for the price of none as it's free, and the packs contain a city environment with streets, buildings, roads, sidewalks, and much more. So the three packs we get in this one is a Japanese city, favelas, and a Middle East. So some of the technical details of this is it has bland materials, houses with internal parts so you can enter each house as well, it's not just the exterior, and it also includes modular packs so you can continue to expand upon this or just use it to make your own maps as well. So there's 624 unique meshes, all with collision and LODs, 494 materials and material instances, with 1138 textures, all of which are 4K. So that's also something to keep in mind, the texture resolutions of this is all 4K, so you might need a bit of a better PC spec to be able to run these. But obviously you can see it does make it look absolutely fantastic. So there's not a lot else to say on here, obviously you can go through the different asset packs themselves on the marketplace to get some more details of them, but again we get the three different packs all in one for this, and I've gone through some of the basic stuff and you can obviously see on screen now what we're really getting within each pack. So it is a city environment, all modular, all 4K and both interior and exterior as well. And again, it's nice and efficient because it's got LODs on them too. Next up, we've got the dynamic volumetric sky. So this is a simplified and optimized fully dynamic sky system with volumetric clouds, dynamic weather system, day night cycle and time of day. So the volumetric clouds are pretty well optimized. The clouds are depth sorted so you can fly through or above them and also the clouds are based on infinite surface, so they're not limited. You've got total control over the clouds from both visualization and performance perspectives. The sky is also completely volumetric, just like the clouds, and it affects your entire map. So you consider it like an atmosphere. The sky system is supported by the volumetric clouds, day-night cycle, dynamic time, dynamic weather, dynamic environment material functions, and dynamic wind and moon phases. So as you can tell, it is a very dynamic asset. So some of the more technical details of this are there's three different blueprints, one mesh, which I imagine is probably just a skybox or a sky sphere. There's eight different materials, 10 material functions, 24 textures and two particles, 
those particles will be rain and snow as that is also included in this as well you can set the weather to be raining or snowing and it will then have that as well as it changing how it all looks it will have the particles too so again the video really showcases this a lot better than words can as it's a very visual thing but it looks absolutely fantastic there's lots of customization you can do with this and really just use it to immediately set up a sky in your game for what you want so the rain and overcast and the clouds and the night would all make it very easy to set up a horror theme or again anything you want but that's just a specific example i can think of you can use this to very quickly create the atmosphere for your game next is the scan labs interior volume one so this is a large selection of low poly models optimized for the best looks and high performance so in this you get over 104 unique books 11 book piles 25 decorative props such as flowers, shoes, boxes, picture frames, fruits, and much more. You get one photo scanned tree from the Scan Labs Tree Volume 1 collection, so they've just kind of put in a freebie from another collection they've got there. Three upholstery props and seven wall system props. So it says on here the props are scaled to the epic skeleton. Not sure which ones they mean by that, but some of them clearly are. For the texture sizes, most of them are 4K, but some books are 2K, and the photo scanned floor is at 8k so again this is obviously a very realistic pack so you're going to want to have a good pc to be able to run these the books at 2k however you could obviously then use a different project if you wanted as they're not too bad but obviously the 8k texture is there to look very realistic so this does all have automatically generated collision and they've also got the vertex count on the marketplace page which you obviously go look at as well but from looking at them they're very low and very good because obviously really they're using the textures to really get that quality across. This does however also include LODs, and there's 173 meshes, 20 materials and 88 material instances, 136 textures and it is supported on only Windows at the moment. So again this looks absolutely fantastic and that's really what it's going for, it's going for that realistic look which is why they've got such high quality textures. So this is kind of a more of a niche thing but something very good and obviously it's for free so you can't really complain. And finally, last but not least, is the Countryside Windmills and Barns. So this is a modular pack of windmills and barns with both new and abandoned, plus a landscape thrown in there as well. So this is a peaceful scene with an extremely modular barn and windmill, which you can reuse over and over again, and obviously have it look different each and every time due to the modular aspect of it. So it also includes prefabs as well as a separate element such as boards, pillars, door frames, and much more. And most of the models have a couple of interchangeable materials for better variation as well which really makes it even more modular to make it look even more different every time so both daytime and nighttime levels are included so you can see what it's going to look like in each kind of setting that you can have so this features obviously the modular wooden barns and windmills animated meshes which is going to be the windmill tablecloth and rye the wooden fences with collisions are also spline so you can really nice and easily create a custom fence and it also has a tessellated landscape a custom HDRI, rye, potatoes, and a pretty water material as a bonus as well, just thrown in there. The texture sizes for this range from 256 up to 4K, and it does have both custom and automatically generated collisions. And on top of that, there's also LEDs that were generated inside of UE4. There's a total of 189 meshes, 226 materials and material instances, and 272 textures. So once again, as I've said for pretty much all of these, this looks absolutely fantastic. I really do love modular assets and this one is no different. If you wanted to make a kind of a farm somewhere, this would work absolutely perfect for you. So if you, maybe you have an open world map and you're in the countryside somewhere, you could throw this in just to populate the area to make it look a little bit nicer. So I think that'll be it for this month's video on the monthly free assets for September 2022 where we've got five amazing free assets once again. I think my favorite one this time around is probably gonna be the dynamic volumetric sky, just for the ease of it and there's so much you can do with it. And again, it's so easy to use and expand upon and really just very quick to set up. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one was for this month. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me just going through the different assets and showcasing them and giving my opinion on them. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below as we're trying to hit 50k subs before the end of the year. So if you do enjoy my content, please do make sure to subscribe as it really helps me in the channel out. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.